Hi guys, so in the last video lecture we covered the type 1 problems or the problem of strings ending with a certain series. So today we are going to cover the type 2 problems or the problems which say that we have to construct a DFA ok. So we have to construct a DFA for all strings starting with let us say A B A ok. And, uh, our summation is equal to a comma b that is our inputs are a and b no, no other alphabet is accepted by a dfa so let's start so first we're going to draw a tuple okay so that i'm going to define it as where my q is the set of states okay as you guys know my summation will be a comma b this is my transition function, I am going to get to it in a bit and Q naught and F these are my initial and final states respectively. That is if my string is starting with A B A that is our problem then it should go to the final state ok. So, how do you do this? Well, we are going to use a very simple approach first we are going to declare the states. So, initially obviously Q naught will be my initial state because that is where I start off ok. Q 1 are is the state which is starting with A starts with A. So, remember we have to find a DFA for string starting with A B A. Um, Q 2 will be a state which starts with A B and Q 3 is a state which starts with A B A. Also in this problem the only difference from the last problem where we did with the ending was is we take a null state Q 5 where if the string is not starting with A B A we will put it uh, we will put the string in this state. This is also called my reject state. <coughs> okay. So, I said I am going to uh, explain you guys what uh, this function was. Well, this function is going to give me q into summation gives me q. So, I am going to draw a q versus summation table and it is going to give me the results are going to be of q only. So, it will be the q0, q1, q2, q3 or the q5. So, I am going to write here q0, q1, q2, q3 and q 5. So, just for our convenience let us just mention what. So, this was my initial state or I can call it epsilon and this was my string starting with a string starting with a b string starting with a b a and it was my reject state. So, the strings which do not start with a b a go here. So, if I put a with epsilon I get epsilon a. So, that is effectively equal to a. So, since Q 1 says that this uh, Q 1 is a state which starts with A, we are going to put Q 1 here. Now, let us take B. Does B, do, can, can we find B anywhere here? So, no, B does the string does not start with A or A B or A B A. So, we directly put it into the reject state that is Q 5. Now, we take the next state which is Q 1 A. So, when q 1 goes with a I get a a. So, can I find anywhere here a a? No. So, does does it start with a b a? Does it start with a? Does it start with a b? Does it start with a b a? No. So, I directly reject it. Now, I am going to take a b. So, do I have a state where it starts with a b? Yes. So, I am going to put it into q 2. Now, let us take q 2 that is a b. Uh, Q2 when combined with A, I get A B A. So, do I have a state that says I have a string starting with A B A? Yes, I do. So, that state is Q3 since Q3 is starting with A B A. So, I am going to put Q3 here. Now, let me take Q2 is A B and I have my input alphabet as A B B. So, does my string start with A or A B or A B A? No, right. So, this goes to the reject state because my string should always this is my final state ok. So, my string should either start with A B A or it would not. So, 
if I add any letters here, A, B, A, B, anything, but my starting will always remain A, B, B. No way I can change this to A, B, A, can I? So hence, if you have a doubt that although A, B, B is, I cannot find A, B, B here, but this string starts with A, B, but it, it will never reach the final state which is A, B, A. So we directly put this string into reject. So hence we reject this Q5. So now we have Q3 which is starting with A, B, A. Now if I put any letters, let's say A, B, A, I put an A, I put a B, or let's say I put a B first and then an A or an A, it will always start with A, B, A, always, no matter what happens. So this stays in my Q3 itself. And then if my, uh, if my string is already rejected, let's say it starts with A, B, B instead of A, B, A. And if I add any letters, any damn letters, okay, which are defined in the input, my string will always remain rejected because it never started off with A, B, A in the first place. So hence I am going to put a Q5 here and a Q5 here again. So now let's draw the transition diagram for the same. And we're going to do this using the states only. Okay, so first I'm going to draw a Q0 here. And on the input of A, when I get, so I, I go to Q1. Now, when I get a B, I put it into reject state. On Q1, when I get an A, I put it into Q5. I am looking only in the diagram. On Q1, when I get a B, on Q1, when I get a B, I go to Q2. So let's make a Q2. This goes to B. On Q2, when I get an A, I go to Q3. On Q2, when my input is B, it goes to Q5. On Q3, when my input is A, it goes to Q3 itself. And on Q3, when my input is B, it goes to Q3 itself again. So I'm going to make a self loop here with A comma B. And on Q5, when I put A, it remains in my reject state. And when on Q5, I put B, it also remains in my reject state. So I'm going to draw A comma B here. And here you have the DFA guys. So that was it. And in the next series, I'm going to cover the division type problems. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, do like the video if you liked it. Thank you.